You don't defend me. You don't. And I came clean today. And I apologized. I literally had to sit there in the okay. juicy quiet the whole time. No, you didn't. Because you got what you deserved. That's what you got. You deserved that <laughs> chilling. I'm serious. She was inappropriate. But you... Yeah, but you, someone who cares so much about my safety didn't care. And I'm the one who was Liz, calm. you brought that on also, yourself. Also, I'm here for you. No, you're not. Kelly you're not asked here. asked one question. You're never here for me. And you cut him off so fast. Liz, you were never here for me. You sat there and complained. No. Everybody called me a cheater today. But then you confessed to cheating. And I literally had to sit there. At a game. Not in a relationship. It's not a game. It was a and game. It was a little. To be it was a little therapeutic I game. I sat quiet the whole time. You got your served to you. That had nothing to do with me. I'm that was you. I'm the only one who's calm. No, you're not. For once. I really didn't say anything in the jacuzzi. It's always like the Angie show or Ed show, so. That's just kind of like how I felt. I don't think that I deserve that. I know she's mad because in a way she kind of got her served to her, which I feel good about. But then I feel bad because that's the woman I love. The next two weeks will determine the rest of my life. And I rather this come out now. Like Liz and I need to be broken down, like broken down to our foundation. And then we need to be built up. Jeez. Looks like a bomb went off in here. Half of it. What? Half of it is yours. <clears throat> so what happened last night? You tell me. Let's start with you finding it appropriate to get naked. Oh, that was being silly. It's not silly. That had nothing to do with what happened. No, no, no. Let's I'm start talking about what the, happened with you and Let's Angela. start from the beginning. I act like that? I can't act like that. Didn't we just have a... We're going to start from the beginning. I want to talk about how Angela we're defended gonna me. We're going to talk about... And you yourself. got called out for not supporting your, your um, fiancé. That's kind of funny because I didn't say to Angela. I said nothing. <clears throat> you two are so hard to talk over. For her to call me a bitch and I didn't say or do anything, and you standing there like a, a little bitch, she needs to stay in her own relationship. I sat there very quiet while you and Kelly were just going back at each other because you cheated in the game and then you got all defensive saying, stop calling me a cheater. You called him a bitch. You both said things to each other. You can't. No, but he you came, can't. He's the one that came at me saying, you know what? You, I really don't you're care. You're always talking. To, no, Liz, I know you don't care. Cut you don't listen off. and you never, you're never wrong. You just, and Liz, for the first time in my life, right. I've never... And I don't, I don't approve of her behavior or the way that she did it. I've never had anyone stand up for me like she did. Go be with her. You're not letting me speak, raise so I'm voice. done talking. <clears throat> but listen, when you get mad, Shut you raise up. your voice. Run. You don't let me speak. I am run. running away from run you. Run away, run, run. Ed, you never let me talk. <clears throat> Where's my coffee? <clears throat> Hi, how are you? I'm getting so frustrated. Okay, take a minute and catch your breath. I'm doing this whole stupid couples retreat with Ed. He doesn't ever listen or just let me talk. It's always about him. Well, it's time to teach him a lesson. Give him the cold shoulder. <sighs> I love Liz. Um, most of the time, um, we're happy, but she never stands behind me or stands up for me for whatever reason.
He's not listening. He comes in and talks to me. He asks me how I feel. He immediately shuts me down. He never lets me speak. He thinks he's God's gift to the world and he's really not. He's supposed to be making changes. He's supposed to be a better version of himself for me. If he's going to continue to act this way, flip the switch and walk away. He doesn't like it, then he needs to step up and be a man. Instead of a d- <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was there so I could put my arms around you. Love you. I love you too. Bye. Bye bye. Are you ready to listen? Like, am I going to be allowed to speak? Yes. I'll listen. I don't feel supported when I don't feel like I'm being heard. So I'm going to speak for once. And I'm going to put my foot down and I'm going to proudly walk away and not talk to you or participate in group therapy today if you're not going to listen. And I'm sorry, you and Angela, it's always about you two. You two always speak. You never let anyone else talk. I have nothing against Angela, but I didn't deserve how she treated me. You're but, all but Kelly came I'm at not me. done talking. Kelly came at me. I'm not done. Okay. Go ahead. I'm listening. You hurt my feelings yesterday, too, during group therapy. When? When you cheated. Okay. I'm sorry that you. I hurt your feelings for that. But it's not, it, it, this wasn't like a, a life-saving game. It was a game. All of these are supposed game, to be taken but seriously. But it was. You cheated me out of an experience. No one cheated you out yesterday. of anything. Yes, because you were supposed to be my partner. We're supposed to take this seriously. So you're not taking therapy seriously, Ed. You couldn't even let me guide you yesterday in a game. You want me to have your back? Ed, it is so hard. You drown me emotionally. You don't want to ever let me speak. I'm shocked that I even got words out right now with you. And it's all because I had to tell you to shut up to let me speak. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I hurt your feelings. That wasn't my intention. And I didn't listen to you. And I don't listen to you. I'm realizing that. I got a lot out of that exercise that you and I have trust issues and we don't and we don't communicate now we have something to work on i'm not gonna do it if you're not gonna take it seriously i'm gonna take it seriously i did learn my lesson yesterday i shouldn't have cheated once this couple retreat ends ed and i are supposed to be moving into a house together in arkansas i thought i was ready but after last night, yeah, I can't even imagine changing my whole life to move with him. Right now, a part of me just wants to call it quits because Ed says he's trying to change, but he doesn't realize he is running out of chances real fast.